So let me tell you about that time that I played my beats for Dr. Dre and he literally hated every single beat that I showed him. I had met the legendary, the GOAT, Dr. Dre through a mutual friend of mine uh, named Tahim, shout to Tahim, many years ago. And uh, it was 2014, I'm in LA in a studio. Um, it was actually a studio called Electric Feel. I get a text from my friend Tahim and he's like, hey, Ilmine, you know, what are you doing? Where are you at? And I'm like, uh, I'm actually in LA right now um, in the studio. What are you up to? And he's like, oh, bet. Um, I'm actually with Dre right now. You know, where, where are you? And I told him which studio I was in. And he's like, Dre and I are literally across the street at a bar. Uh, why don't you come meet us? And I was like, okay, bet. I'll be there in a few minutes. I hung up the phone. And the first thing in my mind, I'm like, holy shit, I'm about to meet Dr. Dre right now. Like, this is crazy. So I leave the studio and I start walking over to meet Dr. Dre and Tahim at this bar. And so I walk into the bar. You know, I say what's up to Tahim, and then Ty introduces me to Dre. I'm like, yo, Dre, what's up? I'm ill mine, blah, blah, blah. And we're at the bar, and Dre's like, yo, I heard a lot about you. I, I heard you got those fire beats. Trying to hear something. And I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I make I make a little thing or two, you know, I, I dibble and dabble a little bit here and there. Dre's like, yo, what are you drinking? And in my mind, I'm like, did Dre just like offer me a drink right now? This is crazy. I'm like, Yo, I'm drinking whatever you're drinking, Doc. Whatever you're drinking. So we order a drink. We chat a little bit. Dre turns to me and he's like, Yo, I'm trying to hear some beats. Let's go to the studio. So I'm like, perfect. You know, I got a little room across the street. Let's go. We leave the bar. We walk into the studio. It's, you know, basically the big A room with the big speakers and the, the mixing board in the front. And Dr. Dre and my friend Tahim are literally sitting behind me, kind of like what you guys are seeing now. I plug my computer in and I start playing beats. So, you know, first beat I play, I'm like, Ugh. you know what I mean? I'm just nodding my head, going crazy. I'm literally playing my favorite beats like in my mind what were my best beats that i thought dre would like and so i'm playing the first beat i play the second beat i'm going crazy you know what i mean i'm playing the third beat i'm going crazy and the whole time i'm playing beats you know i was too scared i was too shook to turn around and, and look at dre right so after probably the fifth or sixth beat i take a glance and i turn around to look at dre and literally I see Dre on the phone, sitting down, looking down on his phone like this. Bored out of his mind, you know, not nodding his head, like just super bored and unimpressed. And I turned back around and I was like, fuck, Dre hates my beats. I play a couple more. I stop the music and I turn around and Dre, Dre says, yo, you know, the beats are cool, but it's nothing I haven't heard before that hit me at first it hit like my heart sank because i was i went in there so confident thinking that he would love my beats and when he told me that it was nothing he hasn't heard before that literally changed the the way that i think about music and the way that i approach music and so you know after that we had a great conversation he was you know talking to me about what he's into and what kind of you know he even told me like what kind of key he he likes to play in um, and just stuff like that, just like real nerd producer talk stuff. And the fact that he told me that it's nothing he hasn't heard before, that stuck with me because that moment, although he didn't like my beats at that moment, it changed the way that I approach making music. It taught me this lesson of, you know, thinking outside of the box and not going with the norm. You know, if everyone goes left, go right. Ever since then, I've always try to take that approach while I'm making music, whether I'm making beats or whether I'm in the studio with an artist, like co-writing or whatever it is. Uh, there's always that part of me that I'm, I'm, I'm imagining Dre, like as that little voice, like, hey, you know, do something different. Ever since that moment, my career has, has skyrocketed. The funny thing is a couple of years later, I got invited back to Dre's studio. I was able to play some more beats from him and he ended up recording to like two of them, uh, which was really, really, really awesome. So I'll never forget those times. Thank you to Dre for teaching me and implanting 
that idea in my head of of just thinking outside the box and and doing something different and um you know it changed my life so that's the story of dre hating my beats, my beats. My beats. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I got more stories for you guys. Your support is very, very much appreciated. All right. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.